Today we're going to dive into the world of key performance indicators or KPIs and explore how they can help technical teams achieve their goals and drive success. But before we jump into the specifics, let's start with the basics. What is exactly a KPI? A key performance indicator or KPI is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively a company or team is achieving key business objectives. KPIs provide a focus for strategic and operational improvements, create an analytical basis for decision making, and help focus attention on what matters most. Think of KPIs as the speedometer and fuel on your car's dashboard. They give you critical information about how your vehicle, in this case your technical team, is performing. Now, why are KPIs so important for technical teams? Well, in the fast-paced world of technology, it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of coding, debugging, and firefighting. KPIs help teams step back and see the bigger picture. They provide clarity on what success looks like, align team efforts with organizational goals, and offer concrete data to guide decision-making and improvement efforts. Let me share a quick story to illustrate this. A few years ago, I worked with a software development team that was struggling with productivity. They felt like they were working hard, but project deadlines were constantly slipping. When we looked into it, we realized that they had no clear way to measure their progress or efficiency. We implemented a few KPIs including sprint velocity and cycle time. Within just a few months, the team had a much clearer picture of their capacity and efficiency. They were able to make data-driven decisions about workload and process improvement, leading to a 30% increase in on-time project delivery. Now that we understand what KPIs are and why they are important, Let's dive into some specific KPIs that are particularly relevant for technical teams. Our first KPI is code quality. This can be measured through metrics like code coverage, the percentage of code coverage by automated tests, cyclomatic complexity, a measure of code complexity, and the number of bugs found in production. I once worked with a team that prided themselves on their rapid development speed. However, they were constantly plagued by bugs and system crashes. When we implemented code quality KPIs, we discovered that only 20% of their code was covered by tests, and much of it was highly complex and difficult to maintain. By focusing on improving these metrics, the team was able to reduce production bugs by 50% within six months, while actually increasing their development speed due to fewer rework cycles. Our next KPI is deployment frequency. This measures how often a team is able to deploy new code to production. In today's fast-paced digital world, the ability to quickly and safely deploy new features or fixes is crucial. I once consulted for a company that only deployed to production once a month. This led to a huge risky deployment that often resulted in outages. By tracking deployment frequency and gradually increasing it, they were able to move to weekly then daily deployments. This reduced deployment-related incidents by 80% and allowed them to respond to market needs much more quickly. Another important KPI is Mean Time to Recover, or MTTR. This measures how quickly a team can recover from failures in production. In the world of fail fast, fail often, the ability to quickly bounce back from issues is crucial. I remember working with a team that had an MTTR of 24 hours. Any production issue will essentially take down their service for a full day. By focusing on improving this KPI, they implemented better monitoring, automated rollback procedures, and improved their incident response process. Within a year, they had reduced their MTTR to under an hour. Let's move on to our next KPI, lead time. This measures the time it takes from the moment the work begins on a new feature or fix until it's deployed to production. It's a great indicator on your team's overall efficiency and process health. I once worked with a team that had a lead time of three months for any new feature. By breaking this down and identifying bottlenecks in their process, they were able to reduce it to two weeks. This not only made them more responsive to customer needs, but also significantly improved team's morale as they could see the impact of their work 
much more quickly. Another crucial KPI for technical team is customer satisfaction. While this might seem more relevant to customer service teams, it's actually a key indicator on how well your technical solutions are meeting user needs. I remember a team that was hitting all their internal KPIs, high call quality, frequent deployments, fast recovery time. But when we look at the customer satisfaction, it was surprisingly low. It turned out they were building features that were technically impressive, but didn't actually solve user problems. By incorporating customer satisfaction as a KPI, they were able to realign their efforts and significantly improve their product's value to users. Our next KPI is Team Velocity. This measures how much a team can complete in a given time period, usually a sprint in agile methodologies. It's a great indicator of team productivity and capacity. I once worked with a team that was consistently overcommitting and underdelivering in their sprint. By tracking velocity over time, they were able to get a realistic picture of their capacity. This led to more accurate planning, less stress, and ultimately high productivity as they stopped context switching between too many concurrent tasks. The last KPI we will discuss today is innovation time. This measures the percentage of time a team member can dedicate to innovative projects or learning new skills outside of the regular workload. Google famously had a 20% time policy where engineers could spend one day a week on side projects. While not every company can afford this, tracking innovation time as a KPI can help ensure your team doesn't get stuck in a rut of just maintaining existing systems. I once worked with a team that was so packed down in maintenance work that they had no time for innovation. By making innovation time a KPI and gradually increasing it, they were able to develop new features that significantly improved their product and even created new revenue streams for the company. Now, a word of caution. While KPIs are powerful tools, they are not silver bullets. It's crucial to choose the right KPIs for your specific team and context. I've seen teams to get so focused on improving particular KPIs that they lost sight of the bigger picture. For example, a team that focused solely on deployment frequency ended up pushing a lot of small, low-impact changes while neglecting large, more valuable features. The key is to have a balanced set of KPIs that give you a holistic view of your team's performance. And remember, KPIs should be a tool for improvement, not a stick for punishment. If you want more ideas to improve your team and yourself, you should watch this video next. See you next week.